Removing the wheel. The brakes will have to be disassembled before the wheel can be removed. This is done by removing the quarter inch bolts that go through the caliper and into the brake backplate. The 210 uses four brake pads per wheel, which means it has double piston brake calipers. There will be four quarter inch bolts to be removed on these aircraft. Some other model aircraft utilize only one piston per caliper and only have two bolts holding two brake pads. You'll need a 7 16 wrench or socket to remove these bolts. Don't remove the two inner nuts that may appear to hold the caliper on. These nuts hold the adjusting pins that float on the torque plate, allowing the assembly to move as the brake pads wear in service. With the bolts removed, the caliper can simply remain in place to finish removing the wheel. Now take out the three screws holding the hubcap on if you have them installed. There's a large castle nut behind the hubcap with a cotter pin that you'll have to remove. With a good pair of diagonal cutters, straighten the cotter pin as best you can and then pry it out. Be careful so as not to gouge the wheel during this process. In most cases you can pry against the nut itself rather than the soft aluminum wheel. The nut should be not much more than hand tight and it comes off with very little effort. The wheel assembly now easily slides off. It's a good idea to have a block ready to slide under the axle once the wheel is removed. That way if somebody comes along and bumps the airplane accidentally or tries to climb into it or somehow knocks it off the jack, it'll only fall a quarter of an inch rather than six or eight inches.